Thursday, July 26, 2012, the defendant arrived at the Quick Med Urgent Care, um, but she told the medical staff that her 11-year-old daughter had suffered a seizure and was in the family van. Um, when medical staff went out to the van uh, to treat the victim, they discovered that she had already died and it appeared to them that she had been dead for some time. Uh, they called the police uh, who came out to the scene. Uh, there was a physical observation of the victim's body revealed numerous recent injuries. There was also scarring on her chest and legs and she appeared to be severely malnourished. Um, the defendant was interviewed by Detective Pam Williams at the Macon Police Department. During the interview, she admitted to doing punishment and uh, correction or discipline on the victim, which involved withholding food and whipping her with an electrical cord. Uh, another child who lived in the home, the biological sister of the victim, was interviewed. Uh, she confirmed that the defendant used withholding food and whippings to punish the victim. She also reported, the nine-year-old sister of the victim, reported being whipped for trying to sneak some food to uh, her sister, uh, who is now the deceased victim in this case. A search warrant was executed at the defendant's home, which was on Holton Road here in Macon. Um, an electrical cord and paddle that the defendant referred to as the sword of the spirit were found next to her bed. The cord and the paddle tested positive for blood. There was evidence of substantial blood spatter found in Bruce's bedroom. The home uh, was also found to contain copious amounts of food and drink. There was an autopsy performed um, on the victim by Dr. Laura Darisol of the GBI. She said the findings included uh, recent blunt force trauma to the face and chest of the victim, evidence of blunt force trauma covering 75 to 80 percent of the victim's chest and abdomen, 10 percent of her face, 30 percent of her arms, and 60 percent of her legs. The uh, cause of death was the blunt force injuries along with dehydration and malnutrition. The autopsy determined that at the time of her death, the victim weighed 58 pounds and was 5 feet 4 inches tall. Are you pleased to be able to be involved involuntarily? Yes, sir. Has anybody forked you or threatened you or coerced you to get you to plead guilty? Has anybody prompted you anything to get you to plead 